it going guys, my name is Josh. Today uh, I'm bringing you back another video. Um, just to excuse the hood, I'm absolutely freezing. Uh, where I am right now, it's like minus one degree. Um, basically I wanted to give a video, a little short one, not anything special. Just to basically tell you guys how to you can fix your DJI uh, Phantom 3 Advance, in my case, uh, controller uh, from not charging. I had this issue a few days ago and I thought I'd like to I'll share it with you guys, so yeah. So guys, um, please ignore the mess, the squashies there, there's rags absolutely everywhere. This is kind of my messy station here. I've got the canyon which I'm working on at the minute, so please just ignore the mess. I'm just gonna get straight into it, guys, because like I said, it's not a special video, so I'm not gonna try to put a, a show out there. I'm literally just trying to sh tell you guys uh, what my issue was. This might not be the case for your guys', however, um, this was the case for mine. So let's get straight over to the controller. So the first thing that indicates that the controller is not charging is what I did is I plugged it straight in and I know that the charger is not plugged in. Plugged it in, nothing came up at all. And this was my case, this might not be yours. Um, plugged it in, there was no indication at all showing anywhere that it was charging, uh, which I was a bit concerned about obviously. So press the button, see if anything happened there, nothing happened at all tore down the controller literally guys i tore, stripped it down looked on youtube um I'm very lucky i didn't break one of the ribbon ribbons at the back um i am very lucky for that put it from back and charged it again put that in nothing at all so guys i'm just gonna get straight into it tell you what my issue was and hopefully this fixes it for you guys so what my issue was i don't know if you guys can see but there's a little kind of um a little metal kind of thing just in the middle there which is I take it where it gives kind of power and it meets it into here into the middle there so for me this middle thing here was bent it was completely to the side um, now first thing that I did for that um, is I, I straight away stuck, got a screwdriver I think I've got this I'm not too sure I literally to, I just chucked it in there now please guys turn the um, electric off uh, the plug off take the plug out before you even uh, touch it, uh, touch it leave it for five minutes um, and then do this because I mean I don't I luckily nothing happened but I all I can say is just obviously try this at your own risk and if anything happens obviously I've told you um, so yeah what I did is I put a little kind of screwdriver in there and twisted the and like kind of pushed the pin so it's back to the middle Popped it in, first thing, lights came on, absolutely lovely jubbly, um, and I was really pleased with that. So, like I said, guys, this might not be your issue, but I just wanted to kind of put a little pointer video out there for you guys, um, kind of telling you what I did to fix my issue, and hopefully this works for you. So, guys, uh, if you did enjoy that and this did work for you, please leave a like down below. Um, for most people, this might not work, however, it worked for me. Um, and it actually was really useful. So I just wanted to kind of put this video out there. Like I've already said, I want to put this video out there to you guys who are having the same issue. Um, hopefully once we're in strict lockdown in Guernsey at the minute, so hopefully once that's all blown over, me, Alex and Zach, uh, we can all go out together and actually do the races that we want to do and kind of produce you guys some of those videos. Um, plenty of video ideas coming up as well. Um, do you love me?